1971, season one, episode five, Dead Wakes. Doorbell ringing. Dunton, General Holster. Come in. Do you want a drink? No. No, thank you, sir. Don't have much time. Would it? Would have called, but but what? I didn't want to risk a wiretap. A wiretap? So I'm paranoid, Colonel. No, General. Just cautious. Reason for this caution? Well, I just came down this morning. A special directive of all section chiefs. Better generals starting a full-scale investigation. Arm contracts. I see. You sure? Yes, sir. It's unfortunate, I suppose. It would have happened sooner or later. If they find out, they won't find out. General, anyone digs firm enough? A band discover let your construction company charge us a fortune in cost overruns. You offer standard explanation. Obviously, difficulties in developing the arms system. And stand up, General. What the IG sees your base, by your basement bids, we all know that you practically steal those contracts. They'd die both of us. As you say, Colonel, you're the one that accepted the bids. You proved overruns. With much more, with that much money involved, they all know we had to be in it together. I'm going out. Oh, I'm leaving for Geneva tonight. If I may make a suggestion, General, you might do the same. A business run. Besides, I never believed in false retreat. Well, uh, maybe you can call bluffs, sir. But I don't have your don't have your reputation. You have the less of a less of a reputation if you go AWOL. It's commission of guilt. You won't. They won't know it for thirty days. If I just took way in or leave, it's a small world, Colonel. They'll find out what you. No way, sir. I may disappear. I, ah, if you do, just a sake of argument, naturally, I'll keep your environment in my, to myself. Fuse to testify. Not even a short in a jail sentence. Giving evidence. Believe me, sir. Nothing to worry about. You don't know where I am. How did you get here, Colonel? Taxi? No, sir. I drove. Why? I've been thinking of President and me. We have a problem, problem. You show me that my name would never come into this, but uh, being my being my tector, they uh, can't say that. Problem, you show me that my name will never come into this. Uh, you're my protector. I'm afraid you can't take that risk. Evan Cox, see goes touring. Do you see that? What a man just shot someone. But where? Over there. There. See? I did see something. Just moved away from the window. You've been out in the sun too long. I'm telling you, it's a marriage. No. We're going back. We're going. We're going. What? Which way back? Which way is it? Is what are you doing? Oh, God, I got it. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You take this. Yeah, I got that. Now, now, you take this. What the? Do will you do with it? Oh, Mr. Barnes. Bang. Here, let me take your hand. Thank you, Mr. Barnes. The thing I can say about the way she handles the boat, you certainly know she dot whiplash. You hand me a little left, left line, Mrs. Wallace. That's curious, um, I beg your pardon, I'll tie up your boat. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, okay. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Thank you, size. I never thought we'd make it. Neither did I. Couldn't do it either. What could I know you I knew you'd come back to your senses. You must be get a thousand I know what this crank calls a there. What are you doing? Gonna do oh hello, operator. No please tell the police. I report is shooting, hello. This police oh uh, Mrs Stewart. I'm down at uh, the boat place and I Stone Wells, Officer Sanchez, oh Miss Stewart. Oh I'm Miss oh I'm Miss Stewart. That's my mother, Miss Stewart. Miss Stewart Walters. Put it I was doing yes. Uh huh. Yes. Ah. Uh, well. Uh, this man in the bathroom. He just shot another man in uniform. What kind of uniform was it? What kind of uniform was it? Oh well. Uh, he clicked his tongue. They can't tell the difference between the ash and the whale men. Clicks tuggles. I mean, I could tell apart, but not about what they're wearing. But you know. But uh, well, I'm sure it's a military uniform. You seen his feet, madam? Hmm. My daughter's you know, the one that sees things. Also, not me. But it's because you're looking at the other direction. It doesn't mean I didn't see it. Come on. Oh, where was this? Where was the shooting, Mrs. Stewart? Right over there. See? See the houses over there? Sanchez. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do you know who lives in that house? Oh, no, no. 
As a matter, I will not say till we have charged to investigate. Oh, yeah, may I have your address? She lives with me. May I have your phone? Okay, thank you. Is that, is that all for you now? When he's, uh, is anything moved? Where we contact? Oh, thank you. Um, 985-4321. Yes, madam, come on, come on, you know. Well, that should be a so I didn't know witness says it could. General Holtz's house, the General Holtz's house, yes, sir. Does it seem right that a six sleeve like me could be barred in answer man like General Holtz, sir? You just shot somebody? I see your point, Sanchez. Better send yourself over someone homicide. Stand by, I have him here as soon as I can, Roger. Roger, sir, huh? For what? It's box reserved. Oh, I see, right. Who is this reversed it for? The police. I think the only one they're waiting for. Uh, I'm a tenant. My name's Columbo. Oh, sorry. Expecting an official call. That's all right. The name's Sanchez. Yes, sir. I, I see. It's General Holster's house right there. Did you, anyone come in to do? In or out since you've been here? Two young fellows in cadet uniforms went a little while ago. And huh? another, in another way to, out of this house by Walter. Jim was got a yacht to the sip. Back of the house, I could see. You've got to go and speak to General. Why are you doing that? Why did you search his yacht? Lieutenant, I don't want to have a warrant. Well, I asked for permission, General, for permission. Do you give it? Yeah, I'll get a warrant. In the meantime, turn it out. Pay particular attention to the engines. If you find anything out, will let me know? Dead by the Ah, General Hillster. Yes, I, I'm from the police, sir. My name's a Columbo. Lieutenant Columbo. Yes, I don't. Sorry, sorry to say, sir, but we have a pot of this before you could join. Shredding, yes, sir, in this house. Quite an opening line, Lieutenant. Yes, sir, quite. It's sure, just a sat, quite bold complaint, but it's your, 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 your job to follow up. Yes, sir, I understand. I had so many unpleasant things myself. I had to do many unpleasant things that myself in that line of duty. I may ask this cursed lead shooting just who's supposed to have shot who? Well, you see, sir, we don't know exactly. I mean, a victim was wearing one, some kind of uniform. Uniform. Well, come in. These young men and women are my animator. The Lieutenant M M L. You're here to take away my military souvenirs. Uh, put a fresh time into memorial. As a matter of fact, Lieutenant M M I is giving me transcendental dinner tonight. How many of come to celebrating the 20th anniversary time and the opening of the host? Uh, is a bit yes, General. Do you think I could uh, look inside, Lieutenant? Wouldn't it be a little obvious? I wouldn't be in possession, sir. Well, I can tell you, my superiors, I check everything out. Everybody's started nailing it shut. Ah, oh, just two nails, sir. Very well, gentlemen. I have a friend here who would like to inspect the contents of the crate. Will you open it again, please? Yes, sir. Wow, a lot of gun chickles. Well, trophies, Lieutenant. Ah, oh, K forty-seven assault rifles. P S S P P P S H forty seven drum P C S A C P P S H forty one clip. Also made as you observed, all their fingerprint pins pins removed and see. Very interesting, General. Dex. Well remember was content. Living men living memories, empty uniforms. Carefully packed the tent and for the exhibit. Oh yes, of course. I oh, sorry, sir. I put them back in there. Yeah, there you are. I think that's fine. Thank you very much. Come on, gentlemen. Could I offer you something? No, no. Thank you very much. Thank you for a beautiful... You have got a beautiful place here. Thank you. Can you me to who me? And it's a fireplace. Wow. You know, when I was a kid, we used to have those fake wooden kites. I know if you remember them or not, General. They had a fan in the back. The red light and the ribbons. They turned the fan and ribbons with like front of the hair. Yeah, they were terrific. It's funny. What's funny? Don't you have any of those irons? You know, like they put in the fireplace? Put on them. Uh, you mean that? Uh, dry, don't dry irons. Wait, no, I never built a fire like here. Yeah. Too much trouble on Easter to turn up the, the film is out of sea. I don't know. The show, what? That's the show? Mm. Ten, I've been thinking. The person who turned the report was right. If someone were here in uniform, me. I was parking and couldn't resist trying on the own harness, you know. I'm glad to be able to help tell you that. I can still get into it. You know, the port said there was another man here who dreamed of dressing a bathroom. They were filled up and pulled it. It seemed double. Yes, I'm wearing a bathroom. My pair came. 
Perkin, give me a ma- I'm going to match a match. There you are. Thank you. Hey, you're quite, that's quite a lighter. Well, I'm going here, that's something coughs. Did you say that you were going to send all your stuff over to Zibit? Not quite everything, Lieutenant. It's a very personal meeting for me. Anyway, it's a gift for my staff on a day of time and service. Oh, yeah, General? Do you mind? I don't know if you look around. No. By all means, help yourself. Not right. Nice to see you here. All right. Just a basic BQ. BQ. Yes, that's why I like it. My servants just enable me to make her. Hey, see, but comes in twice a week. Good night, General. Oh, let me let, let, you, let me get the door. Okay, well, good night, Lieutenant. The door waves. Bedroom's on his way. Yes, bedroom, Lieutenant. There's the bedroom. General, we have been here all day, no? I was out in the jail till around six, two o'clock. Didn't go out after that, no, sir. No. I am here was here packing, getting ready for testimony dinner. Do you mind if I look at your closet? No. It all mean by all means be far as then. That's your uniform, General. There's a lot of soap salad. First history to be done all be needed. Don't turn it. Well, we had that tour. Everyone else I can what I could do for you No, I guess that's it and that and this and this well well, as long as I'm here. Do you happen to own a gun, General? A handgun? Oh no uh, no, and yet it's, it's a little target pistol. Target's a funny thing. I never think of it as a weapon. Twenty two caliber high standard supermatic trophy model. There you are. Oh, what's the model work for? Middle for Tuggles, it's first United States Patrol Matrine Patricia team. You know, gentlemen, they had that this earlier today. I think they're giving it over the expedition, but it's never had anything to do with my military career. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I remember now. Some of the creek as long as watching the gun. And it must have been what you witnessed, sort of course. And where are they? Where they are? Oh, there we are. Huh? There we are. Huh? Last, no, I doubt if I could. If I could win any medals today. I've been so busy for busy weeks. I haven't had any chance to practice this. Here's here. See you for yourself. Well, I'm not a ballistics expert, sir. I take I take along with with you. How are your people checking out? No, I think it'd be necessary. It won't be necess- that be necessary, General, sir. I think I'm, I'm being one of the school scapes. Well, thank. Oh, I don't think there's much else. I oh, look for General. I think I've been running along. Before you go, Lieutenant, just uh, who put this murder? No, I said it was murder, sir. Well, there's his shooting. Who turned it in the port? Afraid I can't do that, sir. Oh, we're well, no answer, sir. That's against regulations. Yes, of course. Well, there's one thing for sure. Whatever it was, had some. Some guy had got here in a boat at Marina. George, General, and he liked to keep the record straight on that. And they never, they never, now they never meet. That, that was a man. By, do you mean I was a wonder woman? Do I ever hear? Ever said that either, sir? Well, I didn't make any difference. It's, if a mistakes have no gender. Well, that's for sure. Chuckles. Well, I want to apologise for taking up your time. Please don't make give it a fault. Good night, sir. Good night, Jonathan. Oh, one thing before I almost forgot. Huh? So, what about it? I had to check it out, sir. But you may you take it while we're talking. I don't think I've anything to hide, sir. Just that it will be to save some time. We've preached, perched themselves in the two by men. I don't see how I can object now that you're, you're right. I didn't, it did save time. Thanks, sir. Thank you, Tim. Good night. Good night, old general. Enjoy your meal. Dinner. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Tim. Dog loads with police attendant. Capital chatter. Don't find it. Didn't find a thing. The engines they were cold. Then, Miss Stewart, did you? Did she look like when she could have been doing any drinking? Could have been. I don't know really. I guess we both got a little brave. What do I? And it starts. Hey, G- hey, Joey. Guess on number two. Were you, Mister Barnes? Hey, General. Hi. How are you, Mister Barnes? A couple of years ago, I the May Arena. So he waved to me. I think it was an old friend. Got an idea who could have been. Was it one of my boats? I think I think it might have been. Yeah, you might have had. We'll have it there in the record. It's probably Mrs. Stewart and her mother. Miss Stewart, that is. Do you know where she lives? I'd like to have the words for her. Yeah, sure, got it right here. Good. Hey, Lieutenant General, you're not going to go slaving with her, are you? Why? She's the worst woman. 
man, woman, child. Can't sell. Didn't take any of my. I can't take my eyes off her. Really, I thought she was going to work kneel over at any minute. Kill over any minute. Well, I'll watch it, Mr. Barnes. Thanks for God's fault. Here I go. Thank you. Thank you very much for laughing. Rock, laughing, continues to laugh. Jazz, look at all one in just a minute. This is Stuart. Yes, I've done a telecom for the police. And a pulp remains without shooting. Oh, yes, come in, mother. Who is it? Mother? It's a police mother. Helen. Oh, just having a little uh, before dinner. Got down. Would you, um, oh, that's all right. Ask for his identification. Oh, mother. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. That's all right. That's all right. She's eliminated the title to that. You ma- it must be Mrs. Walters. Right. Mrs. Walter- Walters. Walters. Here. Here you are, madam. You sure you don't look like a policeman? I have to make a salad. Here you are. Thank you. Mother is internal openness. You don't have been for the uh, been for the worst, Mars. Uh, what the? What is that? Do you mind? Would you like to see? I uh, like to, uh, try and keep very much. What? Well, it's not finished yet. When it's done, it's gonna be gonna be bowl. You know, you know, for plants and b- things. Or oh, maybe it'll be gonna be, be an Indian water pitcher. I really haven't made my mind up yet, creatively speaking. Well, this work is very very interesting. Well, it's good. It's it's. They say it's important to work with your hands. Very good therapy, she needs it. Just a mass of theoretic studies lately. Sailing, art classes. Even went back to work. What do you want to do? Work, work, work with children and animals. Well, that's constructive. See that? That's a reflection of my job, huh? You don't know what it is, do, do you? I don't know what it, it, it is. But very nice. Well, it's South African Lima. We have them at Art Park. Where? At Art Park. That's where I work with children and animals. I see. The fellow has an armor. Well, you see, I try to be on the surface. You know, to find a deeper meaning and real, real, true reality. Chuckle the least. That's what I think I do. Chuckle, Miss Stewart. I'm going to get right into the point. No, I can't find any evidence of any shooting at the house. And you pointed out, you actually pointed out. I mean, there's no gun, there's no victim, there's nothing. Just a house, a fire living in it. Well, maybe I knew, know what I'd say. Maybe you f- think you saw it. What does that mean? The fellow that owns the house is tired Marine General. He says if you saw him in the window, one was alone and two the way in the bathroom. What about the man in uniform? Is that? So they don't, he did try in the old uniforms, coming on top of pits at time. He says he happened to strip over a grate where he was pick packing. Now, down to you. Does it? Oh, does it sound a reasonable explanation? A very reasonable. But is that what I saw? Huh? Let's see. Did you wear perfect glasses? I didn't wear glasses. I have perfect vision. No, I have better than perfect vision. Uh-huh. Look, I don't want you to get offended at what I'm going to say now. But you're doing a little drinking this afternoon. Oh, tenant, this is really too much. I mean, a of piece of this afternoon. And then my mother, Neil, and we're not elucidating. Just trying to circle your story. I saw two men, one in the bathroom, one in a uniform. One in the bathroom shot the other man. That's the simple truth. The sane and sober. And a simple truth. Now, do you believe me, Miss Stewart? My charge about the serious as you can get. The tenant didn't ask you if, you if it was a serious charge. I asked you to believe me. All he did, however, we did in imagination, even as a child. His image playmates all these games. You never wanted to raise his reality. Mother, to, to some people, it meant that I have a creative, imaginative mind. Looking door, I get it. Don't, can't get a Dutch person to sit down a bite to eat in each piece. Yes, chuckles. Oh, Mr. Sure, no, no, I'll call her for you. Helen Darling is a gentleman here to call you. Helen, for me? Yes, 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 you are Mrs. Stammer. Stuart stammers, you've been surprised. Well, necessary, I assure you. What can I do for you? As you watch the hundred flower news on the television tonight, what well, apparently I need a character reference, chuckles. Afraid I don't understand. You don't recognise me, chuckles. No, should I? You said you saw me shoot somebody today. No, no, you had nothing to fear of me, Mrs. Stuart. But if you watch this great news tonight, I'm sure you agree that Miss Cosby, the murderer, early this evening, General Martin J. Hollister, was ordered by Leonard Mermita 
and bringing me to the institution. At a banquet, Tony M. M. Lee, dedicated to the ventilator, what is this expedition? Expedit in my memory hall. Adrenaline therapy going for over select alumni have distinguished themselves in defense of their country. Adrenaline also has given a standing ovation. If any man is made some memory, may be said to have a church charisma. Certainly, a man is General Martin J. Hollister. Only when the Korean War was Colonel Commanding, as the regiment of army to the of Hollister captured the imagination of General American people's courage, his brilliance, and personally improvised in the heat of the battle. He's grown full garb, for he actually breached his boots in a pedal handed court. Forty five soon earned the nickname the Iron Horseman. Later, as Brigadier General, his own division distinguished itself as the daring run and run, which out of a major mission, using only his famous pistol and a military bluff, he succeeded in capturing the enemy, uh, 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 placing the enemy commander in his entire headquarters, firing a landmine accomplished what nothing else could do, put to an also out of action, fear wounds that necessary necess and timely time in active duty, and one of the youngest majors. Major generals in this nation submissionally extra on the foreign side, the secretary again reiterated the United States' determination to keep the troop levels in Europe unstable, applied a sharp sentinel TV off. You think a man like that would shoot himself for no reason at all? Practically on Mount Rushmore, didn't even recognize him when he came from. I was in a state of shock, I mean, I didn't respect him. For Sharp and dull, you'll toss it. Why did you don't? Why did you admit that you were that you're not sure? Because I am sure. You're sure when you married to me to me to Tom too. Remember, and him running around you with every woman in town. The one who asked for doors. There's or oh, not a mirage's mother. They're flesh and blood ladies. He was carrying on with you. He even admitted it. Your post pots of cooking is not a pot. It's a crack. Rock old takes done. There's to General Pluster. What is a general full character? Reminds me of General Patton of Bloodless and Guts. Here yeah, about the day in report before we call it tonight, Lieutenant. No thanks, but no tonight. I'm gonna get up early, get something special going on. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna go do a little shopping. Hey, you're right. You catch something good, bring it in. I'll give you a bowl of chili free. Hey, come on, General. Just one drink. Huh? No more and more. Look at it. Go home with your wife's gentlemen. Let's go go up for another, one more drink. I can always make a roll to be in bed before the reveille. Go, go home. Good night, gentlemen. Sighs. Engine ribbing. Engine running. Engine ribbing. Revving. Engine slowing. Oh, hey, I don't. Early bird. No, yes, sir. Be right with you, yeah. I'm just combining a little business with pleasure. At this hour? Well, General. George, my brother in law, George. Well, you don't you don't know him? But at any rate, it's fantastic fishman. His man had told me the best time in to catch with anything is round and round. He says I got those there before everyone and kinda of catch the fish of God don't look like it worked. Uh, not yet. I'm not gonna keep but I'm gonna keep trying him. I don't think you catch anything big around here, does it? You're too close in, oh good. You know, you're probably right, General. There's something I don't understand. All the other fishing boats are going out. Your boat was just coming in. Huh? Why is that? I've won a lot of, lot of battles. I, don't, I caught a lot of fish by doing conventional thing. Do you know that I always envied someone with, the, with that tone? Hmm, I don't think you can learn that. You know, I think you're born with it. You know, inventors and military strategists. And I wish I could have had that, because that would be a terrific thing in my work. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, I would. I'm sure it would. Oh, Jerry, talking about work. There's a couple of loose ends I'd like to tie up. Nothing important, you understand, but I would like to get, get him tied up. So, by the way, well, I was watching the news and television last night. A few film clips of action. You're in action, good stuff, really thinking. Yeah, it was just as thrilling. But you know, General, I noticed that. So, I've been to notice you were carrying a union, pearl handed pistol, splendid weapon, a cool section 45.45. Yeah, I remember that. That was kind of your, like your trademark, wasn't it? But the thing is this, 
Are you going to stay when I ask you if ever you open to get it guns? You show no me you're in a few minutes, then you show me a target pistol, which is very good, well and good. I was wondering, whatever happened to the pill handed the revolver? Because I'd been looked into the crate, you know, I didn't see it there. Lost it, Lieutenant, a long time ago, where I was in hospital career, and somebody blew me, you know. What did a souvenir? Yes, actually, it well, was. I'm pretty c- pleased it was taken. It's going to be just some too much publicity gimmick, I see. Go to my service of it. I'm going to have to do without a famous host to come. Oh, not exactly. My, I wanted one of those rare worlds. A typical name, I see, huh? Now we're going to change. Is there anything else I can do for you? But also, oh, fine. Fine, just have a piece of ice. Find a different spot. We use a different bait. Oh, wait, you're not going to catch anything, turn. Goats bleeping in a minute. Children chattering. Animals slowing, baiting, playing. Miss Stewart, Miss Stewart, good afternoon. Did you watch television last night? Yes, I did. How did you find me? I went to your apartment. You had a nice, I had a nice talk with your mother. I had a lady, didn't she? Hmm. I said you were through, through, you were through in here, through in here and about. You suppose that, that you and I could go in you some way? Or a public place, if you're worried, some place where you have a drink. Well, well, you, well, you're breaking the law. Uh, well, don't think I said. Accusing convincing sense of me without a rich fair trial. Now, we don't say that it was an American lounge jazz. How do, uh, to your convictions? My acquittal. Well, we'll judge. I don't judge you, Colonel. I just report what I saw. And I would suggest possibly you did instantly say did. So you deceived by whom myself? So we all know tricks the sun has seen. Even your own eyes can play on you, but took me off a long day in the water. Would you make that possible, just possible? Joe goes, well, I suppose so. You have a fence tense of the design. But hey, what I think we ought to persecute the marinas, because they stood at a celebrated spire. Your mother told me that they you were divorced, yes. I saw how very good you were with his children. Do you have any of your own? No, unfortunately. Always wanted them, but Tom, ah, oh, the ex, he wanted, didn't want children. He used to fight about that a lot at last. Well, maybe you only lost one little bit of this to it. Not a whole wall. Well, what about you? <coughs> Are you married? No, we never could find the time. First, there was a ministry call, yeah. They were a construction company. I married to the business, as they say. Well, I can understand that. Do you ever reach regret it? Not really. Oh, there's a... The, there are expectations like last night when the door opened and saw you, Jingles. Oh, come on, General. You don't think I'm so sensitive to that. Not see you through the mark, do you? Now, what do you mean by that? Well, we're saying me, call the police. We pull it up, we saw you shoot a man. Tell you, telling me, you saw me, vanity it filled your ears. Fun and light, you saw the other sky. Oh, boy, listening, laughing. Yeah, that's right. You're right. I guess we both see each a sense of seeing the movie. We break up chuckles, I mean it though. And to prove that, I'll take you to dinner. Agreed, I'll take you for a year, yes. If Helen and just closed her eyes on some of Tom's frustrations, they might not still be married, however. Add to your husband, Miss Walters. Who knows? Sent him down to crisp Chinese food thirty years ago. Haven't seen him since. You know, I'll never raise the girl since I was three years single handed mother, Mrs. Stewart. Oh, Lieutenant. Well, I hope you didn't expect to eat now. No, I already had dinner at a lovely restaurant overlooking the city. Just beautiful. Well, you might have called. Did you dine alone? Why not? Not this time. General, in fact, I had dinner with General Hoster. General Hoster? Well, what do you think? think no, about that. Are you sure he's going to see him again? Well, he asked me to come. Oh, his yacht giggles? Well, that calls for a drink. You're paying the cost right? Bourbon today? Champagne tomorrow it makes you kind of work, won't it, doesn't it? About the general, what do you mean? I didn't tell him your name, you know. I didn't tell him where you lived. Oh, so he's going to try and go for a lot of trouble to find you. Curiosity about it, excuse that. Yeah, could be that. Of course, it would be something else. It could be something else. I, don't, I think it's a lot, I don't know. So it's, it's interesting. Is it been interested in me? me for myself? Oh, no, no, no. Don't mean that at all. You're a very individual person. No, 
What I'm talking about is the sh- shooting, you see. Second thoughts about the shooting. See how traffic people, they said they picked up about all kids. They were joyriding in the car, they hot wired. Turned out being his car belonged to Roger D- Dunton, his marine colony. Mrs. Stewart. There, yeah, and it could be what the man they saw in the original daughters. Ours, house. You know, he said, did a lot of a new sesky for a man who asked me. Old glasses. Been drinking. Well, it's just part of the job. Anyway, I found out this general, General Dutton, booked a passage. They had to put PM flight to Bell Jackson. Then he never showed up to take the plane. Yes, I did still don't get the connection. Now when you see the gentleman's General Dalton, he was in the Ben Mandrell Gromred Scots. He has to be a typical government officer. But you're then a dealings of General Hoster? He sternly back took a leave. He just disappeared. Now, if you could identify the officer in his photograph, and the man in General Hoster's shot thing, then I think a lot of these faces would fall in place. Can I be sure? Well, that's how the photograph is three years old. That's all happened so quick. I can't just couldn't be sure. I see. Oh, okay. We haven't, we won't find a body yet. So why don't you just keep that? Or maybe we'll come back to you, all right? Oh, good night, Mrs. Walters. Good night, Mrs. Stewart. Do you know what strikes me? The only one to do and graze myself. Button dinner number Colonel Holster. Begin to doubt your sense of door closing. See a girl crying. Boat engine chugging. How are you awake? Oh, I never knew how hard fishing could be. Never tell that to fishermen look, chuckles. What do you see, your house? And in the curtain drove. Chuckles, I can see I can't see anything. There's a reflection of sun and water. You know what you said you saw a shooting here? Well this is the same this same day of day. Moose wings, right no ice thing, chunking, clicking, no grunts, dancing, laughing on me, no what? No, I couldn't have my cuts. What do you know? My ex husband Tom, you know who he was? He was a bow and darts, I mean. Smooth he was like. He was like a kite skating, you know, and then the mean gowns. You well people used to smirk and make jokes, chuckles. They all they were they used my plumper days. Well I said giggles. I look I look like a radish. Come here, no come here. That's an order of screaming, how the phone announcing, shouting in his real announcer. The article was just coming to our newsroom. Early this morning the body of man says ran service in motion one point one half mile of Rokinga Grove. But well, identified as that general Colonel Robert Dalton, United States Marine Mantle Command. The police report Colonel Dunton's whereabouts in question for two weeks past two weeks. Turning out to Timothy Jones show, Death of Hoy. Hoy dear Lieutenant. Was what's this another fishing expedition? Not exactly. Just wanted to talk to you, General. Oh I'm afraid I can't decline it now. Right now. A time unless you want to be go along. A short scene of a cruise. I'm just taking over a hall. Want to test the engines, okay? And I'll cast this line off down here and hop on board, huh? Engine moving in the Colombo. Gorgeous crawl, most of must have cost a mint, huh? As you say, ten had to ask, you can't afford it, right? You know, the biggest thing I've ever been on before row there's a rowboat. Lieutenant, you can't didn't come all the way. Are you just to talk about life on the high seas? Oh, no. I was wondering, General. Have you heard about the, the, about the body? I found a rough cargo behave. Mango Dunton? Yeah, you just heard about it. They just come in the radio. That's shocking. Any idea what happened this, sir? Somebody shot him, sir. Guess it weighed him down and then they dumped him. Is that a fact? Yeah, well, I guess the sharks must have been cut through the wood, whatever was holding him down. Well, this is all very interesting, but then, well, why are you telling me this? Well, sir, to protect you, to protect me. Yes, sir. You see, I know that's just ridiculous, but fellas down there in the apartment, they're saying they've got some kind of pretty good case against you. Oh, Chuckers, yeah, of course. They're fine. There's a way out of line. I know, of course, of course. But you know what you, these idiots and could be bracing? Oh, I tell you, I kind of hate to get into it. I mean, a man of your statue. Well, means get into it, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. The Columbo, well, make motive. The construction company got a lot of contracts through Colonel Dalton. 
Then there's hundreds of other companies. Yet, but it seems as though he's been invested by investor, by a general. But if he were killed, there would be no way of proving conspiracy to fool the government. He, well, if no one around, perhaps that means he doesn't exist. And you're very right. That's a good right. That's a good thing. There's one more thing. Uh, this morning, when you disappeared, you went to the old yacht. For your acquaintance, yeah, it probably is. But we know a body has disappeared. And so I've been studying this slide, General. The Coast and Juridic Surveys got to block them. And it shows the new build of bodies. Dump, dumped off the marine and ocean right, carrying them down to Macargo Bay. Might, Lieutenant Van Van Might, sheer stipulation. Don't you should tell your colleagues. You've yet to show you any link between Colonel Dunton and myself. Something that would prove that we actually met on that day. Yes, sir, they are right, they're right there. But I didn't know that you mentioned it. Because me that, that night, the general disappeared. See, so a car license. Car is derived. The street from your house. I don't know what kind of car the general colonel drove, but you must be thousands of them, South Carolina Colonia. You didn't, uh, by chance, stay in deeply? Check the registration at the time? Ah, uh, no, sir. No, I didn't. There's no reason to. That's what's unfortunate, was it? In general, if you don't mind, I'd like to go back now, as you wish. I guess we would go through with this test run, revving faster. Yeah, Lieutenant. I now see how now a man with the name Columbo shouldn't have been more home on the board. Must have been another branch of family, sir. How soon before we land? Not long. Groans, now we know, Colonel. General, this is a link between you and Colonel Dunton. Really, Mrs. Stewart? I ain't missus the murder of a military man in your house. Help the bloody board, old lieutenant, would you? Fusing, fussing, let me take the bag. Well, no, you have been, maybe you know better. Should, could you just yell? Yeah, oh, no, no, yeah. Should I take the bag? All right. Yeah, yeah, grunts. All right, there you are. Okay, I'm thinking, thinking, all right. Me, fine, just fine, yes. There's something I wanted to talk to you about, Mrs. Stewart. Ah, we just recovered a body. A Colonel Dunton, the man I spoke to about, suddenly dumped him into the ocean. He thinks I shot him. Why, what do I think is important? What counts is what you say. Don't see anything. Well, now, Mr. Stewart, that's what, not what you said. Well, no, it's light, some crazy reflection here. Yeah. You told me distinctly. I don't care what I said. I was wrong. You can't, as far as I make a mistake, yeah. Maybe if I talk about this later on, I'm going to say the same thing later. I say you now, man, so you would, yeah. Would you please leave me alone if you ever want to go out again? I'm happy to take you to Columbo. I do, but hey, Lieutenant, how goes it so-so? How about a bottle of chilli? But give me some chilli. And there you go. Come and right up, Lieutenant, but all rattles. Get the best in town, you know. You've got a match, sure. There he got his chilli to you. Yeah. Here you go, your crackers, silverware rattling blows. Here you go. Help someone, yourself. How do you drink your coffee? coffee? Is it black? What's this? What is it? It's a helmet from the war. What war? That war. World War Two. And I says I never throw anything out. So the other day she put my foot down. He says either junk goes on or she goes. Try to keep her size a tough decision. Anyway, put all the war trophies over here. Hey, wait a minute. You're the one guy appreciate this. I'll get you another bowl of chili. My chili is good. No matter what. Hey, yeah, I got this. Look at this. I look like saved a little Japanese stone serving spoon. I've got it in an Okarama. Commissioner, yes. To the well, you know, I guess my wife is right. You can't give you everything away, especially when it belongs to something. You mean something to you. Yeah, that's a long time ago, ten size, yeah. But give me, give me a dime. Okay, you ten, there you go. Let me give you a bowl of chilli for I dropped on you. Is a cream of sugar in that coffee? Miss Stuart, Columbo, Columbo. Miss Stuart, listen, I appreciate you very much for coming down here and meeting me. Just remember our agreement, Lieutenant. No question, I'm trying to get me to change my mind. Just one another one question, not even half a question. I only wanted to you to see this bit. This bit. Well, look, in order to answer, make the answer a man, understand the part is past, quite a collection now. You see that book? That's a green military manual. Do you know the story behind the book? No. Martin wanted to wait until the first rush of toys had passed because it's plain everything, myself, oh. 
Guess he wants you to know what kind of man you do. But his book, there's a bullet in that book. A sniper tried to kill him. The book stopped a bullet. You know, you never felt an eye it. I mean, that tells me you something. What kind of man he is? More than a great deal. I think he's an unusual charge. More than you and I, and more than every person. I mean, it was me, but a faint. I mean, most people would have taken time to recover, but it didn't. You see, I think uh, he's a very good, cool man of pressure. Hey, that's nice, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful cut? Custom tailored. You know, I think he's almost too nice. I know, I mean, all the concern about clothes. It's kind of vain, don't you think? Dick's tongue. Uh, some people would tend to know what to look like a mermaid bed. Just look at this stuff, clip tongue. Look at that, I mean, this man, just a natural flair for attracting attention to himself. Sometimes undesirable attention, tenant. Didn't seem surprised to see me. Oh, it's kind of expecting you, I mean. I spoke to Miss Stewart. I had a hunch that you'd tell you. I'd like to know what this is all about. All right, sir. I've got the right to point. It was what do with the Pope of your gun. What about it? Well, I found it hard to believe, Miss Stewart. See if, if you agree on this. I find it hard to believe that a man like General Holster, who say to cherish every war with his souvenir, even the smallest photograph, think it's strange that he's careless uh, us to allow his gun to stolen. I mean, the pistol, most famous single art system, whole legend. You agree with me, don't you? Well, size, I don't know what you want me to say. Well, if it was me, if it was my gun, I'd take very good care of that gun. I have it in my palm where people could see it. I would keep it polished and I would keep it oiled and I would keep it loaded. When the sun came to done, came to see me, treated me as exposed me, a gun would be, I could use well. Is that what? Well, then you can say it's true. I mean, you search, where is that gun? That's why I asked myself, where is the gun? Why not a public display? Why not a glass cane? Why not in front of thousands of people after we found Colonel Dunn's body? Anybody else? You see, everyone else gone kind of that grid of the gun. We find the vi- vi- bullet to the victim. But this is check which matched out the bullet to the gun. But somehow, General, something told me you never got rid of that gun. I have meant to t- too much, meant too much to you. You couldn't even part with a cigarette lighter. Not a pearl jam pistol. Just too tied up your pride. Because of your tremendous belief in yourself. You figured everyone would accept your story. Even without having a duplicate made. Wherever it was a duplicate, was there. This is a fact of murder weapon, isn't it? General, if it's so soon as this sticks. Now checked, uh, has checked out the car, gun. Well, I've been necessary, right? You turn softly. Oh, sorry. What is it with me, you turn? Huh? Seems to have a special talent, you know. Me and with, well, with all the men in the world, always seem to pick Mr. Wrong. Seems to see me locking myself in the closet the rest of my life. No, that's wrong. That's just the way my niece, Marilyn, felt about her divorce. Now she's got a new husband. As a matter of fact, he's a cop. You've got six kids, Lieutenant. I mean, just between us. Will you tell me the truth? Do you really have a niece? What kind of question is that? Do you really have a niece? Well, do you? Of course I've got a niece. My sister, Cynthia.